Ethical arguments are never decisive. They simply collide with the ethical arguments offered by the other side. Instead of pointing self-righteously at our own moral superiority, we should examine the assumptions and consequences that go with the arguments. The assumptions may not be plausible. The consequences may not be acceptable. I'm going to start by reaching out of economics to social psychology where they have a concept called just world theory. What is a just world theory? A just world theory is a theory that tells you that everyone gets what they deserve. Neoclassical economics looks a bit like a just world theory and classical liberalism is a just world theory. I uh, say the Milton Friedman kind of uh, classical liberalism. Why is it a just world theory? Because it privileges freedom and it takes initial endowments, what people bring to the market, as irrelevant. So, and uh, more radical thing to say that uh, what people bring to uh, the market is legitimate. Why do we work so hard? For what? For this? For stuff? Other countries, they work, they stroll home, they stop by the cafe, they take August off. Off. Why aren't you like that? Why aren't we like that? Because we're crazy, driven, hard-working believers, that's why. Those other countries think we're nuts. Whatever. We're the Wright brothers insane? Bill Gates, Les Paul, Ali. Were we nuts when we pointed to the moon? That's right. We went up there, you know what we got? Bored. So we left. Got a car up there, left the keys in it. Do you know why? Because we're the only ones going back up there, that's why. But I digress. It's pretty simple. You work hard, you create your own luck, and you gotta believe anything is possible. As for all the stuff, that's the upside of only taking two weeks off in August. Nespa? So how do we criticize a just world theory? Uh, that immediately presents us with the central problem of ethics, which is that it is impossible to agree on the nature of the good. There are good arguments uh, for different visions of the good. So perhaps we solve this problem by seeking agreement on what constitutes the bad. When we realize the role of power in the economy, we have to reconsider what we've been told about the creative destruction of capitalism. The supposedly impersonal market is, after all, run by actual persons. Those who have power decide what will be destroyed. Those who don't have power may become collateral damage.